Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of additive and the multiplicative relationships. This is standard 6.4a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 20 of the 2016 release star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have these two equations here, and you see on the top we have 2x. So what's the relationship between x and y? Well, we're going to multiply 2 times x up here, but at the bottom it's going to be slightly different. We're going to add 2 plus x. And so what is the relationship between these two? Well, let's just make sure we understand what they look like on a graph, because sometimes it's a lot easier to look at it on a graph. And so let's just look at this first one, x and y. And let's just make x 0, 1, 2, and 3. That's pretty standard. And we're going to look at our first equation, 2x. So if we put 2x through there, so if x is 0, then 0 times 2 is still going to be 0. If x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. If x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. And if x is 3, 2 times 3 is 6. And so if we were to put this on a graph right here, we could see there's our x, there's our y, and let's just put some hash marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That should be big enough. And so we're going to start with 0, 0. And then I'm going to go with 1, 2. So you notice that my slope is pretty steep. I'm going over 1, but up 2. And I'm going to go over 2 and then up 4 and then over 3, and then all the way up here to up 6. So you notice my line is going to go pretty steep up there. What does the other one look like? Well, let's do the same thing. We're going to say x and y. We're going to have four values of x, so we can look. 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. But this time we're going to look at the x plus 2. So we're adding 2 instead of multiplying by 2. So we've got a z a 0 plus 2, that makes 2. 1 plus 2 makes 3. 2 plus 2 makes 4. And then 3 plus 2 makes 5. So notice my y is going up, but it's only going up by 1s. Whereas on this top one, my y is going up by 2. So let's see what that looks like on a graph. So we've got our x, and we've got our y. Let's put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to start with my x is 0, but my y is 2. So you notice I'm starting up on this y-axis here. Then I'm going to move over 1, 3, 2, 4, and then 3, 5. So this definitely looks a little bit different. But if you notice that the slope in this top one is a lot steeper, it's, it's kind of going closer to straight up, whereas this one is a little bit flatter, and it starts not at the origin. Remember, this origin right here is 0, 0. It doesn't start at the origin. It starts at 0, 2. So how can we describe the difference between these two equations? Well, you notice that in this one, we had uh, 2 times x up in the top. And the bottom one was x plus 2. So let's look at some of our answers here. In y equals 2x, the value of y is 2 more than the value of x. No, this actually describes this one down here. And in x plus 2, the value of y is twice. Now that actually looks like the exact opposite of what we want. In y equals 2x and y equals x plus 2, the value of y is 2 more. Notice how these two are exactly the same. They just kind of switch. Right? In G and H, you have the exact same beginning. So they're naming both equations. And they're saying, well, they're either y is 2 more or y is twice. Well, y is 2 more is this one down here. And twice is right up here. That's what multiplying by 2 means. But both of them aren't one or the other. One is one, one is the other. So that's going to be wrong. So let's look at j. And y equals 2x. The value of y is twice the value of x. Yes. And y equals x plus 2. The value of y is 2 more. Yes, that is correct. And so j is our answer.